Hey guys, it's Ray and I'm Steve and we're back with the Turner Tidbits. We are coming to you a little bit early today just because of the weather. We, it made us think of something very important that we should share with y'all. Beautiful sunny day in Florida, is that what you mean? Another great day. They call it liquid sunshine, right? Yeah. Um, tropical depression number nine is upon us. So uh, Governor Rick Scott has declared 42 counties a uh, state of emergency. And that's from Tampa all the way around Panhandle to Panama City. So a couple of things we want to bring to your attention. Um, Sarasota County is handing out uh, sandbags. There's, uh, we're going to provide a website that's three locations from 2.30 to 6 today. Manatee County's got between 10 and 6, and there's five different locations. Um, and then there's a plan, your evacuation routes and your emergency shelters. We're going to provide a website for that after the so. Yeah, and I think Manatee County has a site. If you put in Manatee County slash hurricanes or something, it'll get you linked up too. So we'll provide it on the blog. We will put them on the blog, absolutely. With that being said, also make sure you're prepared with your supply kits. You want to make sure you have enough water for everybody. You know, basically a gallon of water per person per day. You want to have enough food for everybody as well, infants included, and your elderly also. Um, a couple of items that we like to include in there, non-perishable food, canned goods, no ray, not the Budweiser's. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> other foods too, a good one brought up to me was the protein bars. Gives you the energy, it's a quickie, you don't have to heat it or anything like that. Um, have something to heat your food with. I like to use propane tanks if you have a gas grill. I found myself at times even having an extra propane tank laying around so I could use my French grills if I didn't have one. Um, the water issue, you could fill up your bathtubs if you're not being evacuated, use that for potable water and flushing toilets and things like that as well. Yeah, so I mean, not, not to overreact, but you know, hurricane preparedness is important. So there's a couple of more points, fill up your cars with gas, uh, trim low hanging branches and things around your home, remove flags, have cash available in case power's out. So power outages can sometimes become the bigger issue. So have an evacuation plan. What else is the power outage? Well, with the power outage, you know, we all take for granted these great phones and, and uh, technology that we have nowadays. Write down the important phone numbers. If we're out of power for three or five days, you will not be able to charge your phone. You won't have access to any of that important information. So it might be something we all take for granted. Uh, I'm getting it right now. It's coming down. And, you know, it's, it's affecting pretty bad. It's flooding all over. So be safe out there, guys. That's our main goal. We're, we're scheduled to get five inches. Right now, as we speak, Bel Air, that Clearwater area, is already flooded right off of the rear wells of trucks and things. So, you know, be safe out there. Let's be safe. And we are, you know, we're here. If you guys have any other questions or you don't see the website fast enough, just reach out to the Turner Real Estate Network and we'll guide you in the right directions at any time. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.